Hey everyone, how are we doing? It's Rob with Ship Our Wedding. Coming to July, we're actually going to be setting up some draping that's happening in a tent today. This is great because it's an outdoor event. We've also done draping in pavilions. So if you want to see what that looks like, take a look at the top corner of this video and we'll give you a DIY resource on how you can go ahead and do this yourself, keep it on the budget. So what's really nice about draping a tent, you can give that pull back cabana swag all the way around and you have sidewalls coming straight down. There's no need to have the fabric come down unless you want to see the view and you have a beautiful picturesque setting. This is where the sweetheart table is going to be. We're going to have the draping pull back. It's going to go where this view is for the hill. It looks really nice with the drapes. This is a before of what we're dealing with in the space, how it looks before the draping. And this is a look that you'll get afterwards when you have the whole tent draped. Isn't this awesome? You'll notice that there's bistro stringing above. These are white bistro strands. So let's go ahead and show you how to drape your tent for an outdoor wedding. Take your pin, you want to insert it into the bottom of the base plate so it lays flat. While holding with your finger, you want to hand tighten the ferrule into the base plate. Only do hand tight, this way you don't need tools to remove this at the end of the night. This will ship back in the container. Now we have our base plate assembled. You're going to drop this at every pole. Your poles should be spaced roughly 10 feet apart. So you'll notice as I span this way that we already have other base plates dropped. And once again, we're going to do this for your entire tent. The next step is to take your uprights and insert them into the bottom of your ferrules, just like this. And you want to make sure the height goes to a proper height. So you notice if there's bistro string lights in here, this upright is directly underneath. If you have all your uprights in your bases, your setup should look like this so far. Once you have all of your uprights inserted in the bases, you're going to take your crossbars. You're going to need to place them right here in these top holes, just like that. This is what's going to hold your fabric going all the way around the whole perimeter of your tent. You want to make sure you pull that out to 10 feet. Your base plate should be centered on the pole, and so should your next one. As we do we're going to continue to grab. We're going to grab the next one. I'm going to put this right here on the top, and we're going to continue by connecting that, and we're going to keep going around from left to right around the whole perimeter. If you have somebody else helping you with your setup, one person go this way while the other person goes the other way, they can meet on the opposite side in the center. But as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. You just take it, put it in, and you just keep connecting it. You'll do this for your entire tent. The tent should look like this when all your crossbars are inserted into the uprights. So we have all of our drapery ready to go. We're going to throw it over the crossbars that we just put into our uprights. When you throw it over the top, there's no pull pocket. So you want to make sure that you have even mounts on both sides, the left and the right side. So for this section of draping, this is a 10 foot span. We're going to use four pieces of fabric. If your span is longer than 10 feet, you might want to put more fabric on it. All of our crossbars that ship out to you have the option to go ahead and extend up to a 10 foot span. The setup should look like this so far. So the next thing we need to decide is what we're going to do with our drapery. Since this has a beautiful view right behind the sweetheart table, this is going to be swagged back like this. Over here, these walls come straight down, and they're going to come straight down because you have some areas like this and this. We're going to cover that with the drapery. There's going to be no gust of winds coming through here. But when it comes to an area like this that's open, wind will come through. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a zip tie, wrap it around the pole. These are large zip ties. If your zip ties aren't this big, Use a standard size, double, triple them up. Just get it tight enough to where it's level. A little bit more, that should be good right there. You know, make sure it goes over the nub. And then this excess piece right here, we're just going to go ahead and clip that off like that. So now we have a four piece of fabric thrown over each crossbar all the way around. We're gonna take the four pieces, start pleating them out. So what you're gonna do is find the edge with your right hand. You're gonna pull that fabric all the way out and you're gonna go ahead and overlap it with the next piece right here. Because this is on a wall that will be pulled back, kind of like you see right here. We wanna make sure every overlapping piece of fabric is zip tied. So we're gonna zip tie these two together. So if I get a view close up, you'll see how the fabric is overlapped. Zip tie comes around and through. And then we're gonna go ahead and tighten this. And this will keep these two pieces of fabric from coming apart when there's windy conditions outside because the wind is not your friend. It doesn't like to cooperate with draping. We're going to come back here. We're just going to go ahead and give it a quick snip as close as we can. There we go. To raise all of your uprights like this. A little higher, that's good right there. And then we're going to go to the next one. We want to make sure this is even with the left and the right so it's much all the way around. Take it up a little bit. Take it down here. Good. That's it. Next step is to do this for all of your uprights in your tent. You have all the drapery pleated. You're going to take the fabric, you're going to finalize it. That's when you lift the front and the back panel in the air. So you want to make sure this back panel comes straight down. This way it doesn't create any shadows and it gives a finished look. So we're going to do this for all the draping around the perimeter of the tent. So now we have all of our uprights zip tied at the top because this wall will get pulled back, swagged open for the beautiful, gorgeous view. So you can see that actually during the reception. We're now going to take the fabric, swag it back to the actual hardware just like this. We're going to accordion in our hand. Bring up that bottom part right there. But that looks really good right there. Go ahead and tighten that for me. So we have the zip tie at the bottom. We double this up this way you can reach all the way around our hardware. Take it and tighten it just like this. Want to make any final adjustments before it's super tight. Just going to give it two cuts just like this for a nice clean look. 
So now we just finalized all the straight fabric coming down. We need to go ahead and tough this because this is pulled back swag, which is on this opening. You'll see what Mike is doing here. We're just taking it, we're bringing it in. You don't want it to be twisted. You want it to roll up under itself so it gives a nice look. So we're just gonna go all the way around, tucking the fabric, pulling it in, just like this. So when a photographer's taking photos, it creates a nice backdrop with a finalized look, just like these ones right here. This is what the venue looks like when you have the tent perimeter draping. You'll notice that we have it swagged open right here on the side wall. The main reason why is because there's a sweetheart table. So I'm just going to walk around the room to kind of give you an idea of how that looks. You'll see how it really frames a shot when the photographer takes it. There's also the cake right here on the center of the dance floor. Does this look beautiful? Floral mixed in with the bistro lighting cascading over the canopy of this tent. I love it. Larger than life centerpieces on the tables with the gold shibaris really brings the color palette together. You'll notice we have the straight wall draping coming down. Main reason why is because these walls have a side wall on them. We don't need to swag these open, but it also serves dual purpose. It's kind of blocking out some of the sun, which is cooling it off in the tent, which is really important, especially if it's outside of that. And you know it's gonna be really hot. It just kind of acts like a little bit of insulator. It keeps that cold air in here as well, which is great. Something I didn't show you in the video that we also did for today's setup is we have two pulled back drape doorways. So this is exactly like the pulled back swags that we have over here on this entire wall. We have one area over here, then we have another area over here on this side. And so this doorway is also pulled back because this will be where the guests will come through for the main entrance. Right there. Great. So if you need help draping your tent, you want to get a similar look, you don't have to hire a vendor and spend a lot of money. You can actually do it yourself. We're nationwide. We'll ship you everything you need right to your door. It sets up just like you see in this video. For something like this, we do recommend having a second person to help with the setup. It should take a couple hours to get this done the way you want. So we recommend setting up the day prior or very early in the morning the day of. This way we have enough time to focus on the small details. So once again, this is Rob with Shipper Wedding. Thank you so much for watching. And if you need help, do not hesitate to contact us. We do have a chat widget available on our website. You can also call us toll free and we'd love to find out how we can help you with your DIY event. Take care. Watch more videos above. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in our next video.